SpaceX will pay you $25,000 to hack Starlink. What? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we're coming to the end of some fireside. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking space, SpaceX, maybe some Linux here and there. I hope you're enjoying your day. Today, we're gonna to be talking about hacking SpaceX Starlink. Can you believe it? Hacking. Well, they did this a few years back. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about it and then give you kind of an update on what they're doing currently, which is absolutely bizarre. I was reading an article over on Tesla Roddy and I wanna give you some of that information, but then once again, I wanna add some of my own, some updates that are currently not out there. I haven't found them anywhere, at least. So. I think it's interesting and it gives you an idea of what exactly SpaceX is doing to secure you, to secure your data, to secure the network. Remember, this is a network of over 7,000, 7,000 satellites. I think it's like 7,100 now. I don't know, it's a lot. And they all form a mesh network around the entire globe where everyone or anyone in countries that allow it, let's say, can access the world of knowledge which is absolutely unbelievable. There's so many people out there that have had either no access at all or the absolute abysmal slow access like myself before SpaceX Starlink that it's just changed everything. It has absolutely changed lives. So anyways, I wanna get into this article and then I wanna hear from you, what do you think about it? I'll give you my commentary as I always do, but I wanna know what you think about this. Is this something that interests you? Are you a white hat hacker? Are you someone that just enjoys hacking just in general and then give that information away to help fortify systems? I know I've done that in the past and I think it's fun. I enjoy it. Now there's people out there that of course have nefarious type of intentions. Well, that's not what we're talking about today. And when I'm done with the article and giving you my commentary and of course my additional information as I always do, down below I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? If you're shy, you don't wanna put something down there in the comments, put an emoji. At least I know that you actually watch the video. That would be great. Anything is good. Also, if you enjoy the content, throw the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you, I appreciate that. Click the notification button over here so when I go live and when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately, if not sooner. YouTube, please do it. Also, if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. The video is still free regardless. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific videos, 460? Almost 470 videos just for you. I'll put a link to them right over here. It's a playlist. When you're done watching this video, click on that. You'll find how to's, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy. And of course the why behind all of it. This channel has always been about the why and will always be about the why. So the article starts out by saying SpaceX Starlink hack, a $25,000 challenge to secure the skies. In 2022, SpaceX made headlines, not just for its rocket launches, but for its audacious invitation. Hack our SpaceX Starlink network and we'll pay you up to $25,000. This wasn't a publicity stunt. It was a calculated move to fortify a system revolutionizing global internet access. The Tesla Roddy article from back in August 2022 scratches the surface, but the story runs deeper, blending technical wizardry, ethical hacking, and SpaceX's relentless pursuit of resilience. The Bug Bounty Program, Inviting Chaos to Build Strength. SpaceX's Bug Bounty Program isn't new, but its Starlink initiative turned heads. The company invited white hack security researchers, or ethical hackers, to probe the satellite internet system for vulnerabilities. Rewards range from $100 for minor bugs to $25,000 for critical flaws that could compromise user data or network integrity. According to SpaceX's bounty page, 
34 vulnerabilities had already been uncovered by researchers with an average payout of $913 over three months. The program's efficiency is striking. SpaceX reviews 75% of submissions within four days, a testament to their urgency in securing a network serving millions. Leonard Waters hack, a $25 wake-up call. The Tesla Roddy piece highlighted Leonard Waters, a Belgian researcher who cracked SpaceX Starlink's defenses with a $25 homemade device. Digging deeper, Waters' method was a masterclass in hardware hacking. He built a custom circuit board, or mod chip, to execute a voltage fault injection attack, bypassing the security boot protection of SpaceX Starlink's user terminal. This wasn't a simple exploit. It required dismantling the dish and precise timing to manipulate power rails during startup. SpaceX called it technically impressive, the first such attack they've seen. Waters shared his findings at the 2022 Black Hat Conference, later open sourcing his tool on GitHub, not to enable malice, but to spur further research. Why it matters, Starlink's global stakes. SpaceX Starlink's constellation, now over 7,100 satellites strong, isn't just a technological marvel. It's critical infrastructure. From rural homes to Ukrainian battlefields, its encrypted signal provides a lifeline. Waters hack exposed a hardware flaw unfixable without a redesign of the terminal main chip, raising questions about physical security. Yet SpaceX reassured users, layered defenses ensure no single breach topples the system. The company's transparency, praising hackers while promising firmware updates, shows a rare blend of humility and confidence. Raising the stakes. In February 2025, Microsoft reported Russian-backed hackers, Secret Blizzard is their names, targeted SpaceX Starlink's connected devices, exploiting weak authentication to harvest credentials. No breaches succeeded, but the attempts underscored SpaceX Starlink's geopolitical weight. SpaceX responded with enhanced monitoring and multi-factor authentication prompts, reinforcing their commitment to a secure network. Looking ahead, a hack-proof future. SpaceX Starlink's gamble paid off. By 2025, Starlink's subscriber base hit over 5 million with no major breaches reported. The bug bounty program continues, a beacon for researchers worldwide. This saga isn't just about a hack. It's about a company betting on human integrity to safeguard a connected planet. Absolutely the case. Guys, I absolutely love this stuff. I've always been a hacker ever since I was about 12, 13 years old. That's just what I did. I enjoyed it. I did it for fun. I didn't do anything nefarious that you need to know about, but I really enjoyed it, okay? I love taking a look at a system and seeing where I can find vulnerabilities, and every system has vulnerabilities. I don't care if it's SpaceX Starlinks or it's the government or it's a bank. I think it's great to be involved in a community of white hat hackers where you can actually do something to help not only the community, but everyone in general. A perfect example here is with SpaceX Starlink. These hacks are very, very important. They said, what was it, about 47 of them went through that were actually addressed. So that is really big. That is one of the reasons why the government safeguards their system with SpaceX Starlink. Why? Because it is very secure. Why is it secure? It's because the Russians and everyone else are constantly trying to hack the damn thing. Make sense? So, there was a couple of things that I found really recent as of today that the majority of you guys won't know about and wasn't in any articles that I found. And it has to do with hacking in general and what SpaceX Starlink is doing to prevent it. And some of this stuff is really big. So number one, SpaceX is testing quantum resistant encryption. Very important, let me repeat that quantum resistant encryption on select SpaceX Starlink satellites in 2025 to protect against future quantum computer attacks that could crack current security protocols. Meaning that 
These security measures are now on a quantum level that is going to be, let's say, greater, bigger, larger binaries, larger numbers, larger ciphers to be able to hack into. So they're testing this quantum resistant encryption as of today on some of the satellites that are already up there. I think that's amazing. Also, SpaceX Starlink's network now uses advanced AI models. I told you guys this was going to happen and now we know it for certain. These AI models are used to detect hacking attempts instantly by flagging unusual terminal behavior like unauthorized firmware changes in real time. In real time, they know if the system is being hacked really cool. SpaceX has deployed decoy satellites in 2025 that mimic Starlink satellite signals but carry no data, acting as honeypots to trap and study hackers without risking the actual network. That is really, really cool. So they have literally satellites on orbit that aren't even Starlink satellites that now send and receive data the same way, but the data that it's sending and receiving is just gibberish, basically. A whole bunch of ones and a whole bunch of zeros and that's it. It's a bunch of nonsense. So they act as honeypots. So when someone tries hacking any of those, they are immediately flagged and they can now triangulate and zero in where that hack attempt is coming from. Really cool. Honeypots, guys, honeypots. A 2025 firmware update bricks SpaceX Starlink terminals if physically tampered with, ensuring stolen dishes in conflict zones can't be repurposed to infiltrate the network. That is awesome. So if you get into the hardware and you do a certain something, it immediately bricks the system. You can no longer use it. It's done for. Very cool also. So that's just four things. There's a lot more, but I just want to bring some of this to your attention so you know where they're going with this. And once again, why I say that the government uses it for a reason, where I hear other people like, oh, you know, why is it that they're using Elon Musk's system? Because their system, Elon Musk's system is harder, more hardened than what the government system is, like it or not. That's what it is, is the reason being is being hacked continuously. It's being hacked by the Russians. It's being hacked by the Chinese every single day. Cool stuff. Quantum resistant encryption, AI models to detect hacking, honeypots, gotta love a honeypot, and of course, the firmware that bricks it if someone gets inside of it and then tampers with the actual hardware. That is just cool stuff, guys, cool stuff. So I hope you got some information from this video and you enjoyed it. If you did, throw the video a thumbs up, that'll be helpful. More importantly, share the video and share the channel with your community. That would be really appreciated. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all my merch and my tees and my shirts and my books and everything else. If there's something there that you like, pick it up, help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and maybe do some white hat hacking for 25K. <laughs> See you guys.